the universe is very efficient. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little talk on, um, from my own personal experience that um, as I've been observing going through my life and everything that's I've been um, shown or downloaded or experienced, um, I've come to the realization that um, whether you want to call it the universe or source or intelligence or God, whatever it is that you're calling it, the divine, um, it's very efficient, um, which means a lot of things overlap in life. And so there's nothing no stones unturned, right? And so everything has a purpose, everything has a life, everything has energy, everything has a vibration um, that brings to it what needs to happen in its own way, which is divine, right? And so it's divinely orchestrated um, to bring about the way that things need to be, not always what we want it to be. And so it does cover a lot of field and topics um, as far as not to really go into any of that, but to share with you that it's very effective and efficient, right? And so there's nothing that can be more perfect than the way that it's been created, which is everything, right? Source, divine, whatever it is, uh, is for you. And what I'm, what I'm saying here is because, for instance, a topic, you know, um, and I did a couple of videos on that, you know, like when a person is reacting to a situation, not only is it, telling them that they're in a, in a false illusion because they're being triggered. But a lot of times the universe puts people in your way <laughs> um, to let that arise, right? And so it's, it's working on different things in different ways, on different levels, at, you know, on multiple levels, on different time frames, right? And so it's making the use of its time and energy and vibration. It's working smarter, not harder. So we're being used as catalysts at some point in our lives where we're, you know, may just be being ourselves and then something happens and another person is triggered, which allows them to look at themselves and to either keep that belief, whatever it is, or they can change it or they can look at themselves and heal themselves or whatever it is and it, it evolves, right? And so while you, they're looking at themselves, you're looking at yourself contemplate so like there's mo these multiple dimensional things going on all at one time which is very effective in you know transformation of evolution and um, self-healing you know as that's taking place because why would you just do one thing and then not do another thing since this is happening well why not do this right so it's all this encapsulated um, intelligence, you know, going on at different times and the same thing at the same time. Um, and it, it helps to be more efficient and effective for it to, things to evolve so much faster than it would if you were to deal with one thing at a time, right? And so a lot of times we can look at that, you know, as like I was saying, the negative mind or the positive mind or, um, you know, our reference, our frame of reference or where we are. Because if we, if the universe can do this here and it can add this here, it just makes it all fit to, together better as, a, you know, as the pieces come together, right? And so it's just all divine. It's very, you know, it's orchestrated perfectly. There's nothing ever wrong. Everything is the way it's meant to be. And it's just the purpose that we set intention for it, you know, on how that is for us. And you know, what is it that we're going to resonate with or how we choose to see it. And it's our experience and we all get to choose what that is. Right. And so the experience, um, you know, what are you choosing? Right. And how are you being in the world and showing up? And so from that, you know, uh, just keep that in mind when things come up for you. You know, whether you're the one being triggered or you're the one that's um, on the other end of the, the stick there on the receiving end, you know, but everything is divinely orchestrated and everything has a reason and purpose for it to happen. And so, you know, it's, it's about questioning everything and where you are and who you are and what you're doing and how you're responding and, and all that, you know, as it's going on, being the observer of your life and experience. 
and transforming it if you need to or heal it, whatever it is that is your um, your experience, right? And so, you know, with having everything set up, like it kind of overlaps, you know, the situations. And for me, I love knowing that basically because I know everything is perfect. Everything's being handled accordingly in divine timing as it's meant to be, as it's supposed to be, as we all signed up to for it to be. Um, in our experience, and nothing is right, nothing's wrong, and there's nothing to worry about. So happy journeys.